this good lighting? Do I turn on the lights? I don't know. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, I welcome you. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, and if you do like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe down below if you're not yet. Let's get into today's video. This is me, fresh out of the shower, completely just fresh. up, ah, fresh and feeling good. <laughs> And that is because I am going to be reviewing a hair product for you today. Two hair products for you today. I am going to be trying out the Zolo's Professional Bioterra Styling Mousse as well as the Styling Finishing Spritz. I remember back, oh, a long time ago, I remember back in my middle school days and my high school days, I would wear mousse like you have no idea how much. Marley? I used to wear mousse all the time, basically like every day and I haven't used mousse in a while so I'm very excited to try this out and the brand and this was again sent to me by influencer to review for you guys and you can always guarantee my honest review so I'm going to go ahead and just read a little bit that was sent here in the card it says hair care in full bloom infused with five beauty boosting botanicals in every bottle bioterra puts a shine in your hair game alcohol free mousse so a little bit first on the mousse Color safe, that's important for me because you guys know that I do color my hair. I don't know if you can tell a little bit here, you can see my roots super dark, <laughs> but I do color my hair. Oh, let's not pay attention to that. Anyways, I do color my hair, so it is color safe, I do like that. Paraben free, lightweight, bodybuilding foam blended with bamboo extract to provide all day volume, hold, and shine. And then the spritz, it says, also color safe, paraben free, lightweight spray blended with bamboo extract, extract. <laughs> I said it earlier, extract to provide instant texture and workable long lasting hold. So I'm looking at the hold, so you know how they have like different holds for like different sprays, mousse and all that. Um, this is on a scale of uh, one to five and it is at a three. So it's supposed to be like a medium hold, right? It's right in the middle. So we're gonna see about that. Uh, this one says that it's uh, flexible, no, what was the word? Workable, so even after using it, you're supposed to like supposed to be able to work with your hair still, you know. So enough of me talking about that. I need to get a little bit on my tippy toes because I like stacked boxes, but maybe this is a little too high for me. So okay, I took one of them off, but now I have to be like leaning over. But that's okay because I'm gonna be showing you my hair anyways. So this is what my hair. Sorry about the toilet. I couldn't find a better place. I want to do it in my bathroom. Okay, kind of moved it to the side. So now you have a background of the shower and it looks dirty. The doors. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's not what the video is about. This is my hair, what it looks like fresh out of the shower. I did do my skincare routine, the my body lotion, everything. So this is what it kind of looks like. It is damp, and this is like the perfect time to put on the mousse. Um, let me just show you all around my hair. And from the back. So I haven't brushed it out. That's what I'm going to do first. The way that I like to brush my hair is I like to part it in the middle. I'm not like, not perfectly. I just kind of go in with my fingers and then just like that. So now I have it like this, like two little ponytails. And then I do have two different brushes that I like to use. I don't know what you call them, but one of them looks like this. Another one looks like this. <laughs> I think this is like a bristle brush, if I'm not mistaken, and then a paddle brush. I don't know, but just, they look like this. I think they're also both from Connor. I'm not too sure. So I'm just gonna start by brushing out my hair. I start with the tips. All right, so this is what the sides look like. This is the one that has been just brushed and this is a non brush, so it does make a difference and in the feel too, so. I'm super excited to use the mousse. Of course, you'll want to shake it first well, so let's shake, 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 shake. What else does it say about the mousse? Anything that I have to know? Do, 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 do. So, just provides body, volume, and shine. Again, color safe. And let's see, yeah, just use it like a regular mousse. I have to see what it smells like because my products, I'm, I just always smell my products. Oh, I just noticed the top. It has this kind of like dispenser. Uh, my voice <laughs> like went away and this kind of dispenser. I'm used to like another type of dispenser like a little bit wider. This is like a little like pull thing. So let's see how much it does foam in the hand. I almost forgot that you kind of have to break the top first. So there we go. That's better. There's always like a little thing here that you need to like kind of like crack like it to come out better okay so i think that's good okay 
Does it smell bad? It smells, it smells good, it smells clean. I can't describe the smell. It's not like a strong chemical smell. That's good. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I usually just put oil. What I've been doing for plenty of years now is just put oil in my on my tips after I wash my hair. I'm gonna take a little bit more. And then rarely, on the rare occasion, I'll, I'll still use mousse. But like I said, I used to wear mousse all the time. I remember those days. So I'm just going to kind of put it all over, basically, and then kind of just like kind of scrunch it up. It smells good. I like it. I like the smell. So that's kind of like what this side is looking like with the mousse. After the mousse, I do take my paddle brush. I'm just going to brush it out again and I feel like this evenly distributes the product more like I don't know if that makes sense but I feel like it spreads the product out not too much you don't want to comb it too much because I also feel like if I do it too much I'll take the product off so you can see with the mousse without the mousse over here you can see it's like my frizziness coming through it's damp Yes, but it's not completely dry. If I don't use products on my hair, like I mentioned, like I usually do oil, if I don't use oil, if I don't use mousse, it's gonna be like a frizzy mess and that's just how my hair is. So you can definitely tell the difference here, my hair with the mousse and then my side without it. Let's do the other side. Hee, <laughs> I love it. there we have it the hair all of it both sides now with the mousse oh it looks so pretty <laughs> i do like it and it doesn't feel like sticky at all um a little bit on the hands but that's normal that's all that's my experience with all mousses so a little bit sticky on the hand but it doesn't feel bad on the hair at all so good 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 let me kind of throw it to the back and turn it around so you can see it like that I'm going to take my paddle brush again. I'm just going to start brushing so that that line like goes away. Okay, so now that I have brushed it without the part here, I wanna, I do wanna use the finishing spritz. This one, let's see what else it has. Texture and workable long lasting hold without flaking or buildup. Spray on dry styled hair for lasting hold. For lift, spray close to roots. Okay, so if you kind of want like more volume on your roots, spray it closer. If not, then just like a little bit away from it and style it as you wish. It's getting there. There we go. Smells like a hairspray. Pretty! You can definitely tell the spray is gonna hold the style in place. Like you can just tell right away, you know? You can also tell it's not gonna be like uh, one of those like stiff mousses or sprays. You know how back in the day used to be like the wet look and you needed it like stiff? It's not like that. And good thing because we don't want that. It's not in anymore. Or is it? No, it's not. <laughs> so at this point, you would basically be free to leave your hair and then just let it air dry. I usually, and this is with any product, what I like to do is when I freshly wash my hair and I put my products in it, I like to put it up in a bun. So that's what I'm going to do because that's what I always do. So let me show you how I do that. Taking my paddle brush one more time for this, I'm gonna push it back, brush it back like you saw earlier, like almost like a ponytail. And like if I'm going to do a ponytail, take my rubber band and then I just start twisting my hair, twist, 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 bring it all around and then secure it with the rubber band. Grabbing a little bit more mousse for my ends. how I'm 
for now. Now I look like I'm a boy. <laughs> and this is how I let my hair usually. So it is Saturday and it is around. It's just about to be 2 p.m. You can see up there. I don't know if you can see. It's about to be 2 p.m. That's what I'm going to be doing today. Leave on my bun for the rest of the day. And then I'll sleep with it also. And then I'll check in tomorrow morning, Sunday morning, uh, with you guys to see how my hair feels let down after about a day of having my hair up in a bun. And again, this is usually what I do with styling my hair anyway. So I'm not doing anything different except for trying out these two new products in my hair. So I'll check you guys in tomorrow and for my final thoughts too. So we'll see you then. It is the next day, it is Sunday, it is about, it just passed 12 o'clock noon, so it's just been, it's not been a complete 24 hours, but it doesn't have to be. <laughs> uh, my hair is ready to be let down, you can see I have done nothing to my hair, absolutely. I want to show you guys what it looks like after a full day with my bun on and sweeping with it. And so, you can see my little hairs like to just kind of stick out a little bit, not all of it, but just some of it. And let me show you from the back what the bun is looking like right now. I have some hairs also sticking up from here, I can feel them. <laughs> and I do have my mousse and my spritz, just in case I want to use a little bit more of both or maybe just one of them after letting down my hair. So let's go ahead and see it. Let's go ahead and take it down. I usually just grab like the tail of it, like the end, and I pull it out, kind of like that. So that's how it stayed like in the ponytail. <laughs> and then let's go ahead and lay it all down. It smells really good. I'm not kidding you, the mousse, it's like, it does smell like a mousse, like I don't know, like the, there's just certain hair products that have a certain scent. It smells like mousse, but better. It has like a really good scent. I love my hair to smell good, you know? Like, so. I'm just gonna play with my hair a little bit, kind of just to like let it loose. Do, 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 do. Ooh, pretty. All right, how's it looking like, guys? Uh, up here, you can like style it however you want. This is usually how I do my hair when I let it down naturally. I do a little bit off to the side and just kind of tussle it around just kind of so that it looks like kind of messy. You know, like the messy but put together look. I like it and it feels soft. It's not like crunchy hard, but you can tell that it definitely held. It's like, was it the, the texture? My curlies. Ah, so nice. Let's see from the back. Let me put you guys down a little bit. I'm tired of getting on my tippy toes. I can't adjust this thing right. Is that better? All right, and I still have my pajama bottoms on. Uh, ignore that if you can. I just changed my shirt. So this is my hair. not hard not crunchy which is good so I tossed all of my hair off to one side like this and I want to give you guys a close-up of how beautiful just it held my curl like this is my hair naturally of course you saw me putting it in a bun and like I like doing that regardless of whatever products I'm using in my hair because it just for me it, it helps with the frizziness if I were just to let it down or like in a ponytail or something like it's a little bit more it looks frizzier so Holding it up in a bun for at least eight hours. I'd give it eight hours at least so that it can like reduce the frizziness in my hair and so that it can hold the curl better. But I really like how the mousse made it look and the hairspray. So I'm very, very satisfied with it. I think I don't have to add any extra because I'm, I'm liking how it looks. If I add extra, I think it would like kind of ruin it. I don't know. <laughs> so that's perfect. I don't need to add any extra before, after, before, <laughs> after letting it down. Something that I am going to do different, I think for next time that I'm using this mousse and spray is adding my oil to my ends because my ends just tend to look a little bit drier. You can tell here, uh, they're dry. And I think just adding some of my, I use argon oil, um, to my bot for my, 
for the, to the tips uh, first and then applying the mousse and the spray just like I did yesterday will make the tips look a lot better because they are looking a little bit dry but that's like I expected that I didn't want to use the oil because I want to see it just without the oil you know just them these by themselves so no oil this time around but next time I definitely will try it with oil but other than that I'm very very happy satisfied my hair's not crunchy it doesn't look wet I'm happy with the amount of a volume and hold that this has. It's soft, it smells good, so I'm very, very happy. Um, you guys can check this out. I'm sure they sell them. Oh, hold on. I'm not too sure where they sell them. So here on my phone, I'm seeing that there's some at Sally Beauty, there's at Walmart, Amazon, House of Beauty, I don't know what that is, but definitely like, I guess like your like drugstores or pharmacies, you can find them, let's see. And Sally Beauty is coming out the price for the Styling Mousse, $10.99. So that's a really very fair price, I think. And the Spritz is, this is the same place that you'll find the mousse, you'll find the spray. And it is more expensive actually here. On Amazon, it's coming out to, it's showing me that it's retailing for $25, the Spritz. Those are the prices if you are interested in checking them out, you're free to do so. This is my honest review. I am very happy, I'm not too picky, uh, but the smell is. I am very picky with my smells. If it was too chemically, I would tell you guys I don't like it, but I do. <laughs> oh! So that was all for this video, guys. I really hope you did enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you're not yet. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!